Panic attack? Do you feel like you're going about to have a panic attack? Here's two ways to instantly reduce some of that anxiety. So what we want to look at is which organs control anxiety or a panic attack. One of the organs is called the heart, right? So how are you going to stimulate the heart and calm it down? Well, you're going to use your palm and you're going to use your ring finger and push and just let it lay down to your palm. That will tell, give you that instant point right there that's connected to your heart, pericardium, but the heart, right? The second point, you're going to push really hard right there. It should feel tender. Second point is your little pinky. Pinky, rest it down right there. See where it rests down on my palm? You're going to press right there, and that's the second point that you're going to push when you have a panic attack. It's not going to instantly remove the panic attack, but it will calm it instantly down. If you do one hand and it doesn't work, do the other hand, and just keep pressing until that anxiety calms down. Follow me on Instagram. For uh, treatment on my anxiety, uh, I've been suffering from... Uh, uh, kind of a claustrophobic panic attack over the course of about two or three years and um, being uh, confined in a space made me really anxious, really uh, nervous, upset, uh, plane rides especially and so uh, Jimmy's been treating me for, for those and I recently took a long plane ride and um, didn't have any problem sat next to the window in a pretty small confined spot and uh, didn't have any problems at all and enjoyed my trip. What people don't realize with Chinese herbs is that a majority of Chinese herbs are actually food. They're actually food that we eat actually within the Asian culture and that's why it's called, na that's why it's natural because it's food that we actually eat. It's not man-made, it's not made in the laboratory, it's actually grown in the soil and we actually eat it. So today's food that we're going to talk about that's also a great Chinese herb is something called chen pi uh, or citrus peel. It could be orange pills, it could be tangerine pills, it can be, what are those, uh, little cuties, you know those cuties, uh, oranges, it could be any type of orange, any type of citrus, okay, citrus pills. So citrus pills um, are super effective, especially right now, you need to be eating a lot of uh, citrus, okay. So now. In the fruit of the citrus, the, the, the nutrients are actually in the peel. That's why in Chinese medicine we use the peel and not necessarily the fruit inside because it's all the nutrients are in the peel. And we actually cooked it with the peel, right? But I'll talk about that a little later. But what is the benefit? Everybody knows, oh, get some oranges, it got vitamin C, antioxidant. But that's just a small percentage of what citrus can do for our body. And so here's a research that has been sh that uh, has been done on citrus peel. So citrus peel actually is an anti-asthmatic. So people who are suffering from al uh, um, asthma, um, citrus, you need to eat more citrus, okay? Why? Because it can dissolve mucus. And if you look at it, Chinese medicine is very, I would say, visual. Um, and, and so if you look at a, let's say you look at an orange, right? You cut an orange open, what does it look like? Let's say here's an orange, right? You, you cut open a citrus, that's what it looks like. What, it, what organ does that look like, right? Doesn't that look like the lungs? And doesn't it look like the breast, right? So citrus peel can actually help your lungs just because the way that it's grown, God made it look like a lung and a breast. So citrus peel can help your breast, it can help your lungs, right? And so, and in regards to helping your lungs, it's anti-asthmatic and it can dissolve mucus, right? It can thin the mucus. So if you got allergies, citrus peel is your food, is your fruit to go to. It's also anti-inflammatory. It can decrease inflammation from asthma. So swelling within the bronchial tubes, it can decrease the swelling within the bronchial tubes. It can decrease swelling if you have fibrocystic breast. It can decrease the swelling within the breast, okay? It also is, uh, it increases intestinal peristalsis. So these are people, you know, who, you know, you've been told that, oh, your, your, uh, your, 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 the food is not moving through your uh, digestive system quick enough, right? Or your intestines, you're, you've got constipation and you're just not, your intestines just aren't squeezing. Peristalsis basically means your intestines are basically squeezing, right? They're squeezing all the nutrition through your intestines. They're squeezing the poop out of your large intestine. So if you have constipation, then you want to get some citrus, citrus peel, um, and that, will, that could help increase your intestinal peristalsis. 
it can also dilate your coronary arteries, right? Because you know, with all the, you know, those little white things, right, uh, in the citrus peel, those things. Imagine those are like little earthworms, and they're just unblocking the blood vessels, right? And therefore, they can help dilate your coronary arteries, which can help your your heart function better. It basically improves the uh, the, the quality of the pump of, of your heart, right? That's all from citrus peel. So how do you administer that, right? Well, a lot of times in Asian culture, we you can make a tea. So after you cut the fruit, you basically can dry, just dry it. Just leave out, leave it out on your countertop and dry the peel, and it'll just dry out. And you can actually just pour, wash it, obviously, but pour hot water and make a tea out of it. And you can just drink, you know, the nutrition, the nutrients that seep out from the peel. Now, and again, like I said, we use this as food as an Asian culture. So we cook it actually in like stew, like some, uh, we make it in beef stew. We'll cook it with stew um, and it will extract. So just, you want to cook the citrus peel to extract the ingredients, right? The active ingredients. And so this is, these are just a few of what citrus peel can do. It is such a powerful medicine. Uh, you know, what was it Hippocrates that said, food is medicine, right? Food is thy medicine. This is the reason why. Uh, Hippocrates knew that, I don't know if you went to Chinese medicine, I don't, I have no idea, but what he said was completely true. Food is medicine. If you know how to use it, you can actually start healing yourself and get your body to heal itself uh, and, and restore function, right?